So typically uh, the therapy is performed um, two, three times a week. You can do it twice a week is for, if it's for your client. And um, takes, the procedure takes somewhat around 40 minutes, between 30 and 40, depending how deep do you want to go in emotional release and stimulation of muscles. Um, it is um, uh, kind of um, uh, up to you. Uh, if you're doing a procedure on yourself, um, you can easily do just 20 30 minutes a day um, you don't have to do the full uh, full blown treatment uh, you can utilize the short version of it but once a week please give yourself a treat of a really good uh, deep uh, good deep treatment now what we're going to do um, we will uh, use this as a table as a treatment table my hair up. Uh, yeah, your hair will, will, will be up, would be good. So um, you, you're putting the blanket lengthwise. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. So just cover your client with a blanket because it will cocoon them and it will, they will have a blanket treatment at the time of your procedure. Yeah. Yes, Ideally, that would be good. Yeah. Ideally, yes. So head here? Yes, head, head here would be great. Especially that gold. <laughs> okay, go right ahead. Yes, yep. and I will keep that for you so it doesn't. Mm -hmm. This is gonna yep. be like my awesome, like awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Better. And then we'll make her disappear. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and what we need to do, we need to take a picture of the face oh. right, right in this position before we even start. So we will be utilizing all these tools. Uh, obviously, our client is covered. So for the time of the procedure, which is average time for the blanket procedure anyway, 40 minutes, 30-40 um, minutes. So you will have 30-40 minutes in the blanket. So that will um, affect the entire energy body and balance the entire energy body. Now, soft laser and the scanner will be used on the same areas. You will see how I'm using them in combination. You don't have, if you don't have one of them, it's not necessary to uh, use both. You can use just one and still will have a good results. But I will show you the entire fusion in case you, you, you know you have the fusion, so how to do that. And you will see me using both instruments at the same time. Uh, that is more effective than using one than, the, than another. Um, if you uh, use both, uh, the time of your procedure will be shortened. You can, of course, do it faster. And you, if you can, guys, uh, can uh, uh, the arrow down, uh, the down arrow? No, that's, uh, yeah, well, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. So for the soft laser, what we, what we will need, we already know, we need a 660 enhancer. And the modes on, on a Q1000, we'll be, we'll be utilizing four modes. Mode one, which is the basic. Uh, mode four, anti-aging mode. Mode five, we call it universal healing mode. And mode 7, which is immune regulation, um, but um, we like to address some areas. Um, basically, if you have a chance to address immunity, you, we address immunity. So mode 7 in, uh, in equal combination. Um, next. Um, honey, if you can just show how to, you know, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So you will, you will be my... <laughs> uh, for the scanners, what you, uh, what you will be using? And if you have a cosmotic, the cosmotic does not require any, um, uh, you, uh, you can use two modes on cosmotic. Basic one, which you get when just turn the machine on, that's, uh, we call it a default mode. So default, you just turn it on, don't change anything else. Turn the machine on, utilize the, uh, utilize the main mode. And you also can use the mode uh, that create, is created specifically for neck and shoulders and, and the head. If you uh, press the mode button, yes, if you press the mode button, it will be uh, the little square around the head. It will show you that it's the mode for the head and the face. So that's for cosmotic. If you have just a scanner, if you have your dove, for the dove we will be using two modes. Uh, default mode, which again created when you just turn the, uh, the machine on and is just beeping and blinking, that's your main one. Well, actually, there are two modes. Uh, then another one will be mode uh, M1. M1 is the mode very similar to microcurrent. Uh, 
meaning this mode is a stimulation one. It does have a little breaks in the stimulation, so uh, it will have a little half a second break in, uh, in, the, in the stimulation time. So it half second on, half second off. So it, it creates effect of micro stimulation and it's really good for uh, blood vessels and uh, tiny little muscles, especially hair muscles. So M1 is really great for, uh, for that. So um, in order to change modes on the DAV, it's very simple actually. You have to press the, uh, the right arrow and then it's already in the mode, press plus button, then it will fix the mode. So right now uh, the, the light, uh, little light over here will start blinking and that means that's the rhythm of stimulation. Half second on, half second off. So a little light will be blinking. <coughs> now we will be also using the mode M3, which again, in the same, in the same manner, to put it in M3 and fix it. Um, you will see that the blinking will be different and the blinking will be three seconds on, one second off. That we will be using for stimulation of large muscle groups, which we will need in, in this particular protocol. <coughs> Um, so that's uh, three ways of uh, using our little dove. Hey, Ryan, I'm a hair yes. replacement technician. This is, I've, I've used the scanner before. Do you find better success with this in regenerating the hair? Um, the cosmotic. That's, this one is the best for regenerating. Okay, next. We're getting the next one. <coughs> next, yeah. we've already got that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> um, uh, no, that's we already know that uh, we, we can trigger general body reactions if we stimulate uh, stimulate the skin areas. Mm -hmm. When you finish ten treatments, like ten treatments, mm -hmm. say, how long it would last? Well, it should last um, for several months. My lifetime. Really well. interesting is we had situations <laughs> yeah. where three sessions were done, husband died. Two months later, they re went and they couldn't believe how much they they didn't go backwards for the person who actually worked. Even with that Even stress. With Even, with that stress. Even with that stress. Uh, After three treatments. Mm -hmm. but, but the first three sessions, it was like it was a different person. So it really jump starts the whole thing. It does. Uh, the, see, uh, it releases the emotions that you carry for ages, for many years. So if you get that release, if you got those energy cysts broken, they don't come back. Right. Mm -hmm. Which, which, uh, which mm -hmm. triggers that particularly? Which triggers the energy system? The, um, well, I would say uh, the especially muscles around the eyes uh -huh. and around the mouth. These are the most important. Right. Right. So important. if you yeah, if you create muscle stimulation, that's what we will be doing. We're creating muscle stimulations of the muscles around the eyes and um, around the mouth. So it will uh, and help. I guess that makes sense when you do mm -hmm. the manual treatments with okay. different modalities. No, so that's fine. Yeah, that makes mm -hmm. sense. Okay, so that um, actually uh, I made Edna comfortable, but now I have to make you un a little bit uncomfortable because I, I need to ask you to sit actually quickly. Uh, you can just sit on the table if you, if you don't mind. Yeah, you can, you can just stay in the blanket, but uh, uh, just sit like this because we need to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> actually, we need a shot from, from the back probably or even from the side. From the side will be fine. Believe it or not, but yeah, but I'll, I'll be just doing the little wings thing. Mm -hmm. So that's the um, kind of uh, the picture that you will have, guys, on the PowerPoint. So I hope it, it's uh, understandable enough. So typically, what we do, we don't start right from the face. We need to relax the stress, right? Relieve the stress. So in order to relieve the stress, you're working on the neck and shoulders. In subjective mode with the DAV or 715 if you have it, and we're using the laser too and that, at that stage of the game. So for the laser, mode one, universal. Just press once. For the DAV, default. Just turn the machine on. If it's 715 or the DAV or any other uh, scanner for that purpose. The to in total you will be doing it about three minutes. So what you're gonna do? You're gonna just shine the light of a laser and do the dove in that motion like kind of doing a Christmas tree a little bit and the laser goes in the beginning you just shine it just this uh, and you're doing trunk of the Christmas tree 
Uh huh. I got some good C3 stuff going on. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, right now I'm just warming up, like you know how a massage therapist is warming up the area. So right now I'm just getting, yeah, getting oriented what's going on. Uh, right now what I would like to do is to increase the, um, the energy on the dove a little bit so you can start feeling it. You probably didn't feel it so far. Yeah. But, um, and I'm shining the uh, light on C7 as you can see. So let me know when you start feeling it. I'm not sure what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. There, there, yeah. Okay, right there. My it, pip, it, I, by the way, my pip, there we go. That's nope. strong. Uh -huh. My pip Too much? Codes, still mm -hmm. some right sided information. Mm -hmm. I thought it would be the left, but it was the right. Okay, and now we got the sound. Now you can hear the shaving. Mm -hmm. yeah. Shaving sound. And I'm shining laser on the same area where I'm working with the machine. Just in dark motions. You don't cross the spine, you're just doing the branches of the tree. What are you looking at? According to classical principles, the principle of scanner therapy, we are looking on the areas of smaller symmetries, meaning the areas of the neck and shoulder which will be sticky or which will be sensitive or show the change in color or showing the change in sound. And if you notice those areas, we need to concentrate on them and try to remove the smaller symmetry, just like you would be treating the area. Not like you're doing a uh, beauty treatment, but just as you're treating the entire area. Up to the hairline, all the way down to the shoulder. Right now, you're just looking for smaller symmetries. Trunk of the tree, you're doing that way. Don't cross the spine across. Just do the trunk of the tree. trying to equally distribute the laser light all over. And again, I'm looking for areas of smaller symmetries, if there are any areas where we have particular resistance. In, in our situations, we don't, actually, surprisingly enough, but we don't. And, yeah, and we go to the right, and I also am not perceiving any particular areas of smaller symmetries. So if I'm not getting anything, that's fine, I'm just working three minutes all over. Um, and if we do, then we concentrate on uh, smaller symmetries and uh, we need to remove them. Can I ask you something about sure. the setting when you ask yeah. me to stop at a certain right. point? How right. do I know that I shouldn't need more? It's just always that initial point of feeling? Initial energy? point of feeling, um, the energy setting. Uh, your client needs to be comfortable. That's, that, that's all that matters. Uh, it should not should be slight sensation of vibration on or a little prickly sensation. Uh, it shouldn't be painful, but it also should be sensible. Like you, you should feel it. Now, <clears throat> I uh, exceeded the time. Usually, um, laser time is three minutes. That's how you know that it's uh, it's enough. So just one cycle on mode one. But I'm showing you a little a little slower. So I will do the next cycle. You don't have to do it. If you don't have small asymmetries, you don't have to do any more than three minutes. But I will do it just because um, uh, I, some other way of uh, doing this I, uh, I'll show you, which I really like. What you do when you already checked the entire zone of neck and shoulders, then you may start doing laser and the scanner in the, yeah, in the heart rhythm fashion, approximately like a heartbeat. Does that have a synergistic effect? Yes. Mm -hmm. So. How are that, that diagonal to zero? Yeah. Not stopping, just the same rhythm. Of course, it's much more convenient if you're behind the client than what I'm doing. So starting from the left to the right and then going back to the right. So you're kind of creating the dance between the scanner and the laser. Maybe on a, sometimes if you feel that you want a little bit more on the trunk or on the spinal cord that you're doing this, I'm going that way. And the, the energy in the scanner, can you describe a little bit the differences? I missed that whole No, that's the same. Uh, I, I didn't change the energy on the scanner, but uh, laser is mode one still. Is it a different source of energy? Um, um, the scanner is the electrical energy, mm -hmm. laser is the light. Mm -hmm. So you can do it two or three times depending on what you feel from a client, I feel that's enough because I don't uh, perceive any particular um, actually restrictions or any 
kind of blockages in your neck and shoulders. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it may be some uh, some there, but I don't really feel it. So that's that's clear, right? We, we, that that's step one. Next, please. Yep, yep. Step two is interesting. Uh, we don't need a laser for step two, but we do need our large sphere attachment. Uh, here it is. So for that particular um, exercise or that particular technique, we call the little, little wings because we will because we will be creating muscle contractions in the uh, uh, shoulder muscles, just uh, in case if we do have kind of spastic muscle muscles somewhere around, uh, that would be really easy for us to relax um, if we create over contraction. So um, uh, that is uh, maybe a little uncomfortable, like unusual sensation, mm -hmm. but just let your shoulders go if they will start jumping up and down. Um, you want that. Uh, for the dab, we are putting more M3, mode 3, three seconds on, one second off. You don't need that, honey? Yeah. Oh, that's a new one. Yeah, okay. Yes? The lights automatically come on on the M1, M2 and half. Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. How do you put it on the M3 on the each? Okay. Uh, you um, you put uh, well. You get the light to M3. I just can't see if I have turned it that way. Okay. So you put the light um, light to M3, ah. and then um, fix it with plus. That's what I think it is. Fix it with plus. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're getting our little attachment over here. Can you see? Just checking on. It I'm I'm checking on myself. Well, always check on yourself because you don't really want to yeah make your make your client client jump. So you kind of find the setting. It will be a little strong. So, mm -hmm. what is important for that particular procedure is the place where you put the attachment. Um, notice that arrow that I'm showing. It's somewhere like right where the neck goes into into the shoulder. That little angle. I'll show you on the right. And we will be doing both sides. So, um, and some kind of a base of the neck, I would say. Um, like if you can put the muscle right over here. So if you start jumping, just let that your shoulder go. Yeah. Marina, after yep. um, surgery mm -hmm. for uh, breast removal, I'm mm -hmm. working on. Uh, mm -hmm. Let let it go. I I I I will answer, but right now I, I just can't. I'm like I have to. So you're just stimulating me. I'm just stimulating. Uh, Guys, if you, if you look at what is going on, the right shoulder is going up, but not enough yet because it's apparently pretty congested. So we need the shoulder. Good. Oh, that, that. Now we're getting it. Oh, I thought you wanted me to drop No, it. no, no. Oh, no, know. let it go and drop it okay. when it goes away. No let it go and no resistance and okay. drop it when it goes away. Okay. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. okay. Up and drop it. Let it go and drop it. Five, about five to seven good contractions. And drop it. You do need the conscious cooperation, I think. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I would sort of yep. like Yep. Yeah. And on the other side, same thing. Well, that's interesting. It's going up into my... Uh, yeah, I know. Yeah. So you need good muscle contractions. And some, um, one shoulder may be more resistant than the other. That's very possible. So you just need to break that, those blockages because resistance always means that there is something stored there, there are tough muscles, and it's not going right, right away yet. Right now it's just a little contractions, but it's not going up. But right now you can see it's starting. starting yeah. This is perfect mm -hmm. for me. Perfect. Yeah, I, I think it's a great technique for you. Perfect. Actually, you can do it on yourself too, really. And some men are so strong that literally it's good to move the muscle first and then put it on because they're so fixed yeah, yeah. and then they'll, they'll go. So I just have them do that first. Off we go. Off we go. Do you increase the frequency or not? A little bit. Yeah, yeah. I, I increase the energy a little bit. Yeah. When, you, when it's not enough, uh, you cannot clear the blockage. Yeah. And now I can go down. You want to get a contraction. Which I want to get a good contraction. This is like and that um, is voluntary. This is like muscle twitch. It, it's involuntarily. Oh. It, it, you, you can't really control it unless you yeah. consciously want to. Uh, oh, we used want. to do this in anesthesiology, muscle yeah. twitch yeah. simulators mm -hmm. to, to see how paralyzed our patients were, so we give yep. them more energy, you know, mm -hmm. more muscle relax. Okay, so one more contraction and we're done. And very important that a client needs to relax 
when uh, when there is no stimulation and stimulation stops, very important that client relaxes. How does that feel? Feels good. Doesn't I it? like it. It's like whoa. Yeah, no, it's great. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, um, to just to uh, eliminate the effect of that, you put uh, your dove back into mode one. Or default, not, sorry, not mode one, default mode. And do the same with the laser just for a few seconds to help the muscles to get into the... Just do quickly. So that's a kind of preparation stage. But you realize that at that moment your emotions and your kind of tiredness, stress, it's getting off your shoulders by that way. Okay, so now we actually really can lie down and relax. I'll help you so you don't fall. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll wrap you. Right you're you fine. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. Yep, go. Just go. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Which I think is extremely important. Wow. That today we cannot afford to neglect the importance of the lymph. The two most serious signs of aging, degeneration and atrophy, have multiple causes, but the most important is, without a doubt, dehydration produced by the slowing down of the lymph circulation because waste products poison and calcify the cells. It is therefore easy to understand that lymph stagnation is an obstacle that hinders a good development of cutaneous and organic functions. So when lymph circulates normally, the skin regenerates and heals particularly well. So what we need to do now is to do the lymphatic drainage part. So that will be our lymphatic drainage part. Step three. Oh, actually step two. <laughs> the previous one was a part of it. The skin you're saying? Tissue? Yes. Okay. So for uh, for laser for that part for that part for the laser we will use mode seven, which is immune modulation mode, because we will be working on the neck and neck is a big part of the system of um, um, immune system, so um, it will be really good. So for 90 seconds on the right side and on the left side, we will be using the scanner, whichever we have, uh, Cosmotic or the DAV in default mode, so we just turn it on. Uh, and uh, we will create, again, a um, slight sensation. You will let me know, Edna, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For this one. So <clears throat> mode 7 on a laser. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Um, I will ask Edna to pull the chin up a little bit and the same motions as we did on the back uh, um, alternating motions I still don't with feel a, it though, on the left hand laser it's okay or whatever. Mm -hmm. starting on the right side of the client of your client mm -hmm. now there's a tingle mm -hmm. okay. and neck is sensitive so you will feel it yeah. on the on mm -hmm. the neck itself yeah. that way And um, usually it's 90 seconds on each side, but I really like to go right from the, from the right to the left and then back to the, from the left to the right, so kind of do the entire neck. You're applying a slight pressure to your machine. Um, and if you, if you can see, I, laser actually is on the skin. You don't have to do it. You can use the laser uh, just on the distance from the skin. Um, I, re I like to create additional mechanical um, effect of the, uh, of the lymphatic drainage. So we will be just doing, applying slight pressure on, uh, on the dove and going all around the neck and even taking the area underneath the chin because that's where lymph nodes are, that's mm -hmm. where stagnation happens, especially if you have dental issues. And in front of the ears and even behind the ears, that's where you want it. Going all the way to the shoulders. Now at this point, if you found a sticky spot, would you just go um, No, at this moment we are not actually working on the sticky spots unless there are 
very important sticky spots uh, related to uh, your teeth usually typically so you are doing that for uh, good three minutes all over uh, but we need to do one more area and that area would be uh, from the sternum to the side doing this right that's where you want your lymph to go mm -hmm. okay that's where you want the lymph rhythmically actually it is really important that you do it rhythmically Irina, for women mm -hmm. who have cords mm -hmm. this is to breast press pieces mm -hmm. can i work around uh, yeah just sure. around yeah yeah yeah, yeah. And you not can worry about it. The yeah laser could go over the port it can do the mm -hmm. dove could mm -hmm. go around it mm -hmm. but you can't touch yeah. it but I am not really working on the breast itself, but I do want to go as far as I can underneath yeah. the armpits. Well, they're oftentimes yeah. so, so far up here that I was... Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, I know. So critical to do lymphatic mm -hmm. drainage for that. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. Critical. And so, I don't think the massage therapists... I mean, I... understand the importance yeah, I mean, of it. Mm -hmm. They get special training, some of them. Okay, so you got three minutes all over for that. So that's, that was step two. Next. Um, mm -hmm, yep, that's fine. Now we can uh, cover our client because the, the rest we will be doing just on the face. Mm -hmm. So we will kind of cocoon you a little bit. Feels great. <laughs> yeah. Pretend I'm on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we are doing basically the same thing with the face now, uh, but the laser goes into mode four, which is anti-aging. One, two, three, four. But with the Dove or your 715, you can utilize either. Um, it will be just uh, default. So you start from a central line and you're moving towards the, these points in front of the ears. Imagine that you're collecting the skin towards this line, like a pulling the skin towards those, uh, those points right in front of the ears. So from a forehead towards these little points. Applying a slight pressure. Ooh, that's tingling. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Too much? Yeah, yeah, a little bit much. Okay. Yeah, sorry. No, no problem. Can you and do how often the you do huh? for each okay? Yeah. yeah, yeah, for each side. I'm just doing so yes. Can you do it with the 715? Uh, you absolutely can, can do, do it with the 715. But 735, you have to do one side. No, 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 no. You can pick it out. You can slide it. Yeah, I don't feel it now. At all. That's okay. No, what was asked me for? Everybody's going to be different. Everybody's, Everybody's going to be different. different. Um, but how the frequency of the therapy? Every week, every two weeks? Um, every typically month, every two, two a week, we, two or three times a week. Well, this I have a patient that had a tumor mm -hmm. in his temporal mandibular joint. So when they, they damaged some of the nerve on the eye. Mm -hmm. So he, has, he doesn't get much uh, fluid. Mm -hmm. I guess that would really help. Oh, yeah. So um, just pay attention, guys, to the, how I move towards this point okay which is TMJ basically area mm -hmm. so going alternating again the laser and the scanner so you're doing about 90 seconds on each side and if you don't feel the tingling it's still That's working, okay right? oh yeah it's working even if you don't feel it huh? and the other, the other side I'm doing the same thing on the other side and I'm moving a little slower so that's not that that fast of a movement. So it's penetrating more? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're stimulating what exactly? Just the skin. Okay. We're trying to oh, cover the, the skin. To get the collagen going yeah. and the rest mm -hmm. of it? That's just the skin. Irina, is there, mm -hmm. are there any charts where the Chinese can evaluate the face and like the wrinkles between the eyes, is the liver, is there any of that on your web? Uh, Available? No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's that cell but it's stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, do you like to use any creams or anything? No, we, we prefer uh, natural, very natural skin. And even uh, it should be some time between uh, when a client washes a face and when you do the procedure because the skin accumulates mm -hmm. these little oh. tiny chemicals. And so you are doing almost microelectrophoresis, uh, sending these chemicals back and giving body the feedback uh, about what's, what's going on. It's like a little... Uh, home, uh, homeopathic treatment. So you wouldn't oh, use frankincense awesome. essential oil? Or um, not at this no, moment. Not in this, not in this, yeah, not in this context. Type of treatment, but not for now, um, you can, um, th that's actually was th three minutes, 
Um, just um, uh, that was enough for us, but just so uh, to underline certain important parts for you. When I'm uh, moving, I'm moving approximately like this, right? The, the speed. You're applying a slight pressure, but not too much, not enough for the skin to really wrinkle, but good for um, yeah, to, for um, uh, creating a good connection with the skin. Now you can move right underneath the eyes, there is no danger, and stretch the skin a little bit, but not too much again. Mm -hmm. So you're kind of creating good connection, but not stretching too much. You don't have to be forceful in order to be effective. And a little bit underneath the chin too. Okay. So on the other side, you can walk around the eyes also. So you pretty much, if you want to, you can lift the eyebrow and do that. Okay? That's interesting because I've had several consults and they told me the only solution for my thin skin, mm -hmm. you know, and all the skin around the eyes is surgery, that lasers yes. would never be able to do anything, no, and that estrogen really. creams might help, you know, to thicken the skin, mm -hmm. and I, I mean, I think... Yeah, but you need to lift the eyebrow, right, the, with, with your other the arm. Neck. Yeah, so. uh, neck, definitely. So yeah, Definitely, you can, if you, um, see, uh, this is the general protocol, and mm -hmm. if you have areas of the skin which uh, you are particularly interested in, just apply more attention to it, you can do it longer time, you don't have to be limited to 30-40 minutes, you can spend 40, 20 minutes on the neck alone, or on the eyes. Now, with the eyes, there is one recommendation, if you're using uh, the Dove, it would be really good at that point, if you want to concentrate around the eyes, move the machine in M1, which is a microcurrent mode, okay? So, oops, I missed it. So that's, it will be, with that frequency, it will be blinking at that frequency, and do the treatment around the eyes with this frequency. Mm -hmm. That's really good. And uh, you can ask a client to look up, can you look up? So you can actually do these wrinkles underneath the eye, right? Mm -hmm. Like this. At that moment, you also can use the laser, um, or if you don't want to, you don't have to. I usually don't use the laser if I walk around, around the eye, not because I'm afraid of the laser, but because I need both hands. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> so this is more and effective I think than laser. The eye therapy. is sensitive to, to, the, the to the light, so you're going to have a lot of blinking. No. No? No. 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 So you think this, the cosmotic, that's what you're using here? Yes. No, more? right now I'm using the scanner. The scanner, I mean. Uh -huh. Look down. No, cosmotic is great. Cosmotic. I'm, I'm not showing cosmotic just because uh, I want to show you all the attachments. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, these attachments don't work with cosmotic. So with cosmotic, you basically just use the machine itself. So your choice, your choice modality now is this electrical energy uh, this laser. is oh yeah no it's uh, around the eyes yeah. yes for the muscles okay. but for the eyes themselves the laser is great so if you want you just can turn the laser on mod one and let the client keep the machine and you can just shine for 30 seconds on each side open and close doesn't matter doesn't matter, really matter so that that was step two uh, step three next you do underneath mm -hmm. the, the lips Right here. Yeah, we do. We do. Mm -hmm. When you do that, like that's one of the parts. So you are kind of crossing that part on both sides. Um, now, for the 715, if you are working, uh, remember that at that uh, that that stage you can utilize S1, which is the mode for uh, for the neck and for the head and neck. So you pretty much can do that in the mode one. For the 715, you will be doing the same thing. You will be just moving this that way, right? With the laser, of course. I'm just not doing the laser at the moment, but you can, you can do the alternation with the laser. Whatever it's more convenient for you, whatever is more, you're more comfortable with. And with the gold 715, it's heavy, so it's easy. I'm just letting the weight of the machine to, <laughs> to fall on your cheeks. So it's easy for me to it do. It feels great. Actually. Feels good? Uh -huh. So that gold does make a difference, huh? <laughs> now, I, I have a question. If people have gold fillings, uh -huh. should they be removed or not? The gold, no. Never gold is right? great. Yeah. Gold in the mouth is the best thing yeah. that it can happen to you. Uh, okay, next. Okay, uh, next step. Muscle stimulation. Facial muscles. Lots of them. And facial muscles are... Mm, special in a way that uh, they do not really, uh, have, many of them do not 
fixed to the bones. They kind of have the places of fixation to each other or to tendons or muscles. Uh, and uh, they are very uh, dynamic muscles and it's a lot of them. So we uh, mimic muscles, carry our emotions, uh, and that's the, the part in which is particularly important for our emotional release. So for that stage, we will be utilizing our little, little balls. So if you can uh, press the next one, because, uh, yeah, that's one. So there are three major areas on, uh, on the face that we will be working on. Uh, it's the area of the forehead, uh, areas around the eyes, that's where we'll, we will concentrate, and area around the mouth. You can pretty much get stimulation out of cheek muscles, depending, but if the lots of emotions are there stored and um, uh, cheeks are uh, kind of de well developed, then uh, you will not create muscle contractions from, um, from the cheeks. Now, muscle contractions are not something standard uh, that you can expect from every client. Some of the clients do not give you good muscle contractions depending on, um, on the uh, constitution of the face. Um, but in most situations you will have it and you will see how it looks. So I'll, I'll show you how that looks. For that um, uh, particular step, you, and this is step four of the procedure, you need really good contraction, visible contraction of muscles to make sure that you have the effect. Uh, for that, you need your machine in M3, again, the one that creates uh, muscle stimulation. And we will move it in M3. Um, it should not be too, uh, too strong, but we still should have a good I Would wonder. You test yourself. Yeah, uh, test myself on. Would you touch that onto your skin? Yeah, or yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Switched. Yeah, I, I do the same for the small uh, electrodes as I do for the big ones. Uh, that first. For every for every time when you're changing this. And you right, right. Mm -hmm. To make sure it's not it's not too much. So um, uh, if you can press the next one, because we have the areas there. So these are first uh, the points that we will be uh, working around the eyes with. First, we will try just relax. Mm -hmm. And it's not going to be, it's not going to be painful. Can you feel it? Mm -hmm. So first we will try to find if these points you need to look for. So we see if we can find something that will stimulate the contraction of the uh, forehead. And just trying to find, locate those spots with which create contractions. And relax. Okay, we got good spot that does the eye. Watch, watch the eye on the right. Mm -hmm. right? So now we're releasing cysts? Now then? we're releasing oh, yeah. whatever is stored yeah. around yeah. your yeah. eyes. Maybe it's my vision will improve. Yeah, actually it's great yeah. for improving of the vision. Maybe I won't have to have that laser surgery after all oh. for my eyes. Okay, just relax and let it. No, no smiling. Your client needs to be relaxed. <laughs> no tickling my teeth. Mm -hmm. uh, is it too strong for you? No, now, other groups of muscles, see over here start twitching. Mm -hmm. Like we're really getting good contraction here. Mm -hmm. About five of them. She's waking up. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I was almost gone there. Did you notice I was really gone? <laughs> now look for other areas. Okay, that's a good one too. This one is creating contraction of a frontal muscle. If you can see the muscle that is contracting right now, mm -hmm. it's not the same, it's the, it's the frontal. See that? Mm -hmm. So this is really about the releasing the emotions from the cyst, not Absolutely. necessarily changing the uh, physical. No, 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 that's for emotional. But basically, that's, uh, this is more for emotional release as well as for the uh, muscle stimulation are good for tonifying muscles. Mm -hmm. Just over here, muscle is twitching really nicely, and uh, Cody probably cannot c catch it, but it's yeah. we, we have a good Zoom good contraction there. of yeah. the fur, of, of the see the uh, mm, yeah, little see wrinkles the straightening up. Oh, good. Uh -huh. <laughs> over here. Yeah. Okay, yeah. now let's try the bottom. Actually, I really want to create that, that length more. Just so I don't have these wires in front and around me, 
and around, the, around you. <laughs> I'm better to un uncoil this because you know what you've just yeah, done. That's okay, uh -huh. Doctor Irwin. You uh -huh. just stimulated my third eye. I'm seeing tons of white uh -huh. light and lavender streaming out. Great, it's really great, awesome. It's really great. Okay, the other one. Mm -hmm. And we have different groups of muscles. What you're trying to get is to stimulate all groups of muscles possible. Mm -hmm. And I'm not moving it. That's the Edna's muscles. Those are the muscles where the headaches come from, right? Uh -huh. Do you ever like to go inside the, uh, the orbit? Bone? Not really. No, that's, not, that's not necessary. So that's how cheek muscle moves, actually. It's not me. I'm not moving. <laughs> And I'm not even applying too much pressure. As you can see, there are no any uh, traces of uh, balls being put on the skin because I don't have to. I think the pineal gland is getting a lot of good stimulation, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which will help with all the other hormonal stuff, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, same. We already know the points on the right. So we're now getting the same points on the, on the left. We're a little more sensitive on the left to that frequency. Ah, really? Too much? A little bit. Is it okay? I can I can make it. No, if, uh, if they start seeing white flashes, you get too much. Or will they will you will they ever see white flashes? Not really. No? We are not pressing on the eye. Oh, look, by the way, make sure and look at this. What do you mean by white flashes? Whoa. Look at this nice muscle. Yeah. You mean white flashes of light? Yeah. No, I'm just seeing lots of beautiful lavender and gold streaming out of my third eye. That's a good muscle. Okay, let's see who, what we have here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yeah. That's a good lift period. But it's, a, it's a good lift for all muscles and at the same time emotional relief. You can see over here that nice little contraction. So that time, uh, that um, that step can uh, can take a bit of time, uh, but it it is a very efficient one. So don't. Uh, please don't cut on this one. It's it's important. How long do you leave it on until the top stops? About three, five good contractions. Three to five good mm -hmm. contractions. And if you see some very resistant muscles, you probably want more contractions out of it because you know you have a cyst there, Lock. something locked there. Can you use those attachments on the 735? Uh, not those, but 735 can create uh, create contractions just by itself. So you just use a section of it? Just section of it. There's, mm -hmm. uh, there's another smaller... Uh, the, uh, so the, um, the facial so electrode. Mm -hmm. uh, watch this muscle. A little interesting twitching. It's not twitching anymore, but it wasn't the, just a minute ago. I feel it twitching. You feel it twitching. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So these applications are only for the dove? Machine. No, 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 no. You can, you can use the 735. Dove, the, um, the mm -hmm. Yeah. Metal um, and it's not because you cannot connect it, it's because um, uh, you probably can program a machine on it. I don't know how to do it yet. Um, but they are kind of alien attachments for the, the cosmotic. So, um, oh, um, really alien. alien attachments. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, again, I'm not moving that. It's, it's the muscle that is moving thing. Are you going to have an alien attachment for our, or increase the, um, the laser for hair removal in the future? No, that's not. No, that's, that's totally different oh, laser. This is oh, less energy. Okay, oh, watch that. Watch that. Watch that. Ooh, that is something. Does that hurt? No, it's it's a little bit un, uh, un, uncomfortable, but but we need to break those yeah, yeah. stuff. And even those now is going. Yeah. See? Wow. Yeah, that's good. I wonder what emotion that is. Uh huh. See how? And it's from here to all the. Uh, that is a really powerful wow. spot. One more time, if you it, we get. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, uh, let yeah. me let me try on the other side if I can create yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So that told you what? It doesn't tell me anything. It's it's Just more it, it's wow. more for a client to be aware of something. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it would be nice to be able to bring to consciousness yeah, what like that, that emotion is. We can muscle yeah. test for it. Oh, yeah. That's the adapter. This worked directly, essentially. Mm -hmm. Directly. Yeah. yeah. Well, and uh, I have to say that Edna's face is very uh, responsive. So now let's try to do something around the, uh, around the nose and around the mouth. Let's see if we can. Uh, see if we can see here. Actually, that's a little bit, yeah, tender spot there. Mm -hmm. okay. So do you have these attachments here for May 7.4? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, we're getting. Oh, and then David said you might mm -hmm. laser that little. Okay, mouth. you relax. <laughs> you know what? You relax. I need your mouth. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's, the next part. That's great. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to find a spot. Mm -hmm. Right here, I think. I can get something. Yeah. See the little twitching over here beginning. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah. That's pretty strong. Okay, too much? Mm hmm Okay. Mm -hmm. Better? Still too much? No, it's gone now. Okay. Completely gone. Mm. So okay. Know, maybe it would turn off. Oh, no, no, I just... No, I didn't. Actually. I don't feel it. Okay. Oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. Can you feel it now? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I still need those twitch. That's a good spot, we just need to find the right. Mm -hmm. Oops, that's too much. Oops, sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm getting. Mm -hmm. Yep, okay. It's still too much. Yep, still too much? Mm -hmm. I'm going down. Mm -hmm. Way down, actually. Maybe is this is okay. Spot? Okay, oh yeah. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this. That's a, that's a powerful twitch. Mm -hmm. uh, is it okay now? Or still too much? It's better. It's okay. Mm -hmm. So you have to be really careful to, because it can be uncomfortable. Oh, off you go. I didn't increase the power. It's just mm -hmm. uh, muscle over, all of a sudden muscle relaxed. <laughs> well, guess, guess how much you, you, you carried over there. Mm -hmm. uh, it was so uh, um, uncomfortable. It came from the fact that I could not create muscle contractions because the muscles wouldn't contract. Mm -hmm. They were not relaxed, they were too blocked. Mm -hmm. Now we broke the blockage, and now this small power mm -hmm. allows for the good contraction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. That's a good one. Okay. No pain, no gain. <laughs> no pain. Well, you can have to clean those blockages. Mm -hmm. well, we will probably have the same thing on this side. Mm -hmm. No, actually, it is, but this response re responding better already. Okay. Okay. No, that is more responsive. Apparently, mm -hmm. right side helped. Is there a licensing or certification that's different in every state as like as the titians? Because typically a person working with these devices and they're not a licensed esthetician or massage therapist, mm. they can't do these. Um, we actually will be um, having the uh, certification. Our next lecture is about certification. Yeah, Through the college, uh, it will be, uh, you will be certified as the beauty technician. So you can do it through college, uh, Paul, Paul and Linda's College of International mm -hmm. Holistic Studies, mm -hmm. working specifically with this type of, type of devices. So you can go around, uh, just for say, sake of economy of time, I will not be doing other muscles, but you can pretty much, these are the most common group of muscles that you, um, that you stimulate. Mm -hmm. So how would you do it with the cosmotic? You would just... Protect? With the cosmotic, you cannot really create strong muscle contractions, but you still would put the cosmotic uh, and where is it, cosmetic, by the way? Um, I, I don't see the, the gold one. I'll go grab it. Uh, I need the gold, gold one back. Yeah, please let, just leave the, all the machines in my possession okay. until I leave, leave, can finish the procedure. So uh, for cosmetic, uh, you just utilize the points that you already know, which would be probably this one, and then you just stay on it. Don't, don't worry about contractions, oh, okay. but just stay on those points, which is right below your eyebrow. Mm -hmm. The other point will be just on the side of your eye. Mm -hmm. And it may create muscle contractions, but it may not. Mm -hmm. Another one. But it still will do the same job for the release, for the emotional release. Mm -hmm. Under, underneath the eye. One more time on the left side. Under, you lift the eyebrow a little bit. Put your cosmetic right on the edge of the orbit. Mm -hmm. You don't have to put it on the eye, eyeball, just on the edge of the orbit. Um, and make sure that you have a connection. So if it beeps, it means there is a connection. Even though I don't feel any stimulation. It does not matter. So cosmetic works a little on a different level. So it will be doing emotional release anyway. Even not maybe through muscle contractions, but it will be doing the job mm -hmm. some, some, some different way. Mm -hmm. And over here. But you get a lot of sinus strain this. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, now these are around the eyes. Mm -hmm. Now you may consider doing this. 
on the forehead, right? Mm -hmm. Or maybe just going piece by piece. Very important points over here, but we will be touching them later on uh, during procedure. And around the mouth, you can pretty much just put it that way, put it this way. And absolutely not forgetting to putting it this way, like right over here. Okay. No, those, don't that spot it, those right, right, right away. Okay, so right over here, I have to reset that. I have to, otherwise it's just dozed. So that is very important point. So right over here. Okay, and right over here. And then this point in the middle of the chin, okay? Okay, so these are kind of a major spots. Of course, we will be going through other, uh, other points too. I am just, uh, at this moment, that's all you need. Next, please. So um, that, uh, that's, we already got through that one. Uh, next one, it uh, doesn't move. Yeah, okay. So now um, we are repeating after the stimulation. Of course, now you need to relax the tissues a little bit. So you are putting your laser, uh, you're getting your scanner, you're putting your laser, and right now I'm just using Cosmotic because it's already here. So I've been just using the 735. So we know how that looks. But for the laser, you will be using now mode five. So you're utilizing all the modes in the laser. One, two, three, four, five, universal healing code. So same thing on the right. I'm just moving it that way. And again, it will be 90 seconds on each side. Applying slight pressure. Don't have to move um, the entire electrode. So that Is one. Is it in cosmetic mode or scanner? Um, it's not in any mode. Oh, it, okay. doesn't, it doesn't have the time to calculate the mode because I'm moving it. Uh, if I would be keeping it on one spot, then it would probably calculate which mode it so needs. What's it doing now? Uh, it's the same muscle, um, electrical stimulation. Right now, it's just working as electrical stimulation, like a oh. simple scanner. Okay. Standard scanner. But right now, actually, it's in cosmotic. Uh. So you see a lot of improvements where the melanin is. Mm -hmm. Does it, does it work on those age spots and melanin deposits? Um, if you uh, at, uh, address the liver at the same time, yeah, sure. Yeah. I've been detoxing my liver big mm -hmm. time with my, you know, ionizing foot baths and infrared sauna technology. Mm -hmm. well, a lot of times physicians don't even recognize the fact that when you do estrogen therapy and hormonal therapy, those will show up. Mm -hmm. Because they're, they're just well, so not tuned into exactly. that. Exactly. But my not sister just, just had that and I told her what was going on and she asked her doctor. They talk to each other and all of them go, no, that can't happen. And said, okay, yeah, it but, just did. But even especially, natural? Even natural? Like, especially yeah. if, they, if the doctor is just no, no, not, relax. he just blocks, you know? Mm -hmm. Let them talk. He, he doesn't want to know. You're just yeah, relaxed, he just block it out. He, he just block it out. Asleep, but if it's an good. older guy yeah. who have been around, he will understand. But so, the younger ones, no. What Edna is saying, that she's almost is falling asleep. Is it good? Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Out of blood, that. yeah, that's, great. that's awesome. Okay, next step. Okay, now we're going to work on the wrinkles. Just let me finish with this one. And she was doing bioidentical. So were you doing skin or yeah, yeah. cosmetic on here? Uh, right now, it's whatever the machine chooses. Mm -hmm. um, but actually, if I would probably... Um, set manually, I would set a cosmotic mode and mm -hmm. just do that. Oh, sorry, just an opposite. <laughs> I, would, I would set manually the scanner mode because with the scanner you can really walk in motion. Right. With cosmotic you should not confuse the machine. So I would, uh, I would choose the scanner mode manually, but I didn't do it. So, uh, And machine is kind of choosing the cosmotic. So will it hurt the, uh, the intelligence of the machine? Oh no, oh no. How much would you charge for a, a, a whole therapy? Well, at least one, 125, 150. That's something that's highly skillful that at you least, do. At least. at least, depending on the area. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're like they're so five hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. like, okay. Oh yeah, they everyone loves it. Um, we do 
10, 14 sessions. Mm -hmm. So they're signed up. That's right, because they're committed. Then they get they are that committed. Really helps they get the a lot in city. Okay, now um, you, uh, we will be just using our, if we have, our 660 enhancer. Just along every wrinkle, as you can see on the, on the, just along every that wrinkle. Was the surgery. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. you're pretty much doing just this, mm -hmm. Illumin illuminating the wrinkle. You're painting. <laughs> yeah, you're painting. Creating beauty. Co yeah. Beauty. Yeah. Co hey, would you use that too on those age spots? Uh, yeah, yes, you can. Absolutely. That would be you can. Yeah. And, and she does have a new uh, place where it was bleeding a little bit. So yeah, right on the right uh, temple. Mm -hmm. I scratched it in that little mm -hmm. hole on the right. Mm, okay, and we'll get bleeding, to it. Wouldn't stop. Um, uh, we will know. Oh, this one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I can show it. Shine a little bit more on it. Uh, we are not uh, putting it on the, on the eye, right? Six sixty, just around. It's too intense. Can you look? It's at too it? intense. It's too intense. Right? No. No. It's uh, not, we ask a client okay. to. No. No. When the doctor looks at it. The, the reason is, is because um, it's not a collimated beam. Oh, okay. Meaning, it's not like a laser pointer. Mm -hmm. It's immediately. So by the time it hits the eye, it's. Ten times larger than the eye, mm -hmm. so it's not. Uh, it, it doesn't seem. Well, and I ask the same question because you know after four years you're like, mm -hmm. and it, it hasn't been issues that we're, we're aware of, but we're looking for. Oops. It's considered a class three A device, so three mm -hmm. Bs is when you. So just try to go to all the, get all those wrinkles on yeah, everywhere. On and you can do this speed. It's okay. You can just pretty much do. Uh, pr pretend you are an artist and you are painting a painting a beautiful picture. You can do this. Oh, you question. can do you this. Do that. <laughs> Literally, I look at the person and just see them already beautiful. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's that form. You know. It, mm -hmm. it, there's that whole aspect too. Mm -hmm. Those deep wrinkles are right yeah, there. So I don't need to have the, the collagen injection. Oh, don't go there. Oh, oh don't go there. there. I've seen stories. She had lumps and lumps of that. Now, I will share with you how many cosmetic sur <laughs> cosmetic surgeries that come awry that we've straightened out. Yes. Oh, yes. And Scars and awful, awful yeah, the results. Mm -hmm. It's the, Actually, we're almost ready to sell the equipment to cosmetic. Yes. Medic surgeons yes. for that reason. Mm -hmm. Does it break down, break down the pockets better? Because sometimes they'll get like pockets of fat if they've had a lipo or something. Oh, like that. Yeah. oh yeah, the incredible pain. Um, it's reduced their pain pre and post. Uh, it's been tremendous. Mm -hmm. so. For plastic surgeons, really good tool to have. Now, um, are we finalizing it on the, this point underneath the nose. Because that's an important point, um, but you don't really address it with the scanner, it's too much. So you just illuminate this little point underneath the nose. So that was the step six, and we have step seven. So that is pretty much uh, the, the last, uh, last part of the procedure, which lasts six minutes. Uh, what you need to do for that part, you're using again the laser and the scanner together. And for uh, the scanner, you will be working on what we call six points on the face. Two minutes on each point. And um, these six points are uh, e uh, exit points for a trigeminal nerve. Uh, you turn your machine, um, depending on what kind of scanner you have. If you have, um, and I probably just show it with a cosmetic, which, which will be simpler for, uh, for us, so you know that you can utilize the big instrument also on these points. Uh, if you have the uh, scanner of a new generation, just default mode. Uh, if you have a scanner of old generation, then um, we call double VAR or variable frequency. It's important that you use variable frequencies. And the cosmotic doesn't need any regulation. So what you do, you just put the machine on first point, right, like this. And just let it be. And with that, uh, at that very moment, you are putting um, your laser uh, in uh, on the chakras. So you want what you want to do, you want to illuminate the upper chakras. Uh, you start from a throat chakra and you do mode one, right on the throat chakra. Because you know, Edna, how, uh, how throat chakras are mm -hmm. <laughs> really yeah. constricted in the most oh, yeah. of us. We saw a lot of them. <laughs> yeah. 
So mode one on the throat chakra. Just want to oh yeah, okay. 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 Just as you stay on this point. Now I'm seeing blue, blue light too. Good. So now um, uh, we didn't have that step before, so you don't have it in the protocol. It's just uh, I just added it because because of you guys. Uh, you you told how many uh, throat chakras are blocked and constricted, and I figured okay, we need to address that. Um, typically, at this stage, we will just wave laser all around the face, and we will do that. But I think we, it's more it's important if we shine for at least a minute. Um, on uh, um, on that chakra. Now on uh, cosmotics, uh, on cosmotic devices, you have timer. So I'm watching. Uh, it should be two minutes on on each point. So two minutes on this point, and I'm watching the timer. It's 1:30 now. So we will do two minutes on the throat chakra, uh, and as we move to another point, we just start, you know, waving the laser around the face and neck, uh, just illuminating everything around. This is one minute, so we need to change that to two minutes? Uh, no, 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 you don't. You, you actually do one minute. It's just I'm, I'm doing it because I added the throat chakra. So, but, but you do uh, one minute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, for some reason, I just feel in this situation, you kind of, like, I feel like two minutes on each point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These notes are in our CD or in Oh, I'm website. already over. They'll be on the website. Okay. So second point, right over here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to shed mode 5, which is a universal healing mode. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Because that's what you need. You, you need something universal right now. So you just wave the laser all over. Shine it all over. So as you see, I'm not putting the entire electrode on the point, just enough to start to have a contact. And again, throw chakra a little bit more. And you will feel actually yourself as an energy energy being. Mm -hmm. You will feel what you need. Mm -hmm. Does that go below the dermal layer, the, the laser? Yes, yeah, it has a soliton wave in it, so a carrier wave. It will go way deep into the system. So if you were to put it on the front here, would it go mm -hmm. to the uh, anterior portion of the vertebrae? Mm -hmm. That would go down. Mm -hmm. oh, so 30 more seconds. I want two minutes on each point, um, on, on this bottom point. So. You don't have to have it, but I just feel like in this particular... Okay. And again, guys, uh, this, uh, this protocol is uh, your general guidelines. Mm -hmm. You can modify it depending on the client. Right, you can, right. you, you can, it's, mm -hmm. you can add something. You can remove something. Uh, it's your creativity and your intuition. Just try to feel what's what's right. And my feeling is that Edna has a little bit issues around her mouth. So we, considering how tough it was to create the constriction no, of I'm muscles. Not feeling any, uh, any Oh, that's okay. Okay, okay. Two minutes. Okay, now next pair of points. Uh, we will have, let me see, oh, right. Um, the point is right over here. Uh, one centimeter to the side from the nostril, one centimeter up. So the point is right here. In order to cover that, you can utilize any instrument. So I can pretty much put the is scanner. Right on the bone? Um, yeah, it is right on the bone, basically. Right, right on the edge mm -hmm. of the orbit. Yeah, a uh, little bit lower, a little bit below. A little bit below. Right with over here. It's a sensitive spot. You can try it. Okay, and if you can uh, press the next uh, next slide. Yep. How about the upper lip? You know, a lot of older women, they get the... the um, you will illuminate them with a 660 enhancer. Uh, uh, but we do not, I usually typically do not uh, put a scanner on the, on the upper lip. It's very sensitive. <laughs> be nice to treat those little fine lines, though. Mm -hmm. That usually means dehydration of the uterus. That's usually what I would hear. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. In, a, uh, mm -hmm. uh, okay. In, in, um, uh, in the meanwhile, 
putting our laser in uh, the mode 2 and start illuminating the third eye chakra. And these points I will be doing just one minute. That's on that pair of points. Yeah. Yeah. So doing that. So that's all in the notes, right? And right over here. Just one minute on this one. So typically we have one minute on each point, but I did extra minute on each of the lower points. This is going to be up on the website. Now are you repeating this process a little bit? Yeah. No. No. Oh, I'm just going up the. Uh, it's the fourth point. Well, she added that today. I just. Uh, I, I didn't add it. I just increased it a little bit. I increased the time a little. Instead of one minute on each of the bottom points, I, I did two, right. just because Edna had. A, I think had an issue. That's right. We entitled. Yeah. We entitled. <laughs> That's why we make word processors, so we just change it. <laughs> we are creative beings. Mm -hmm. So we want. Oh, yeah. We. Yeah. We. We. Yes, dear. Yes, dear. Okay, now we need to. Um, uh, two upper points are a little tricky. So what you need to do, you may put your laser aside and first get the scanner in good connection. So these are points like right over here, on the edge of the orbit, underneath the eyebrow. If you divide the eyebrow in three parts, that will be one third. Right underneath the eyebrow, so you have to lift the eyebrow in order to get the scanner, get the connection. Yeah, right Are you using two of those probes? No, just, uh, just two of the electrodes. Like yeah, enough to uh, to start beeping. Don't press on the eye, please, and you continue on the third eye. So you don't wait for the full dose. You just oh no 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 no. You may if you want to. Mm -hmm. Again, you're a creative being, mm -hmm. but I just keep one minute. Okay. But for some reason, for Edna, I felt like um, the points around her mouth uh, are more tougher. They are more. Uh, they need more work. Than upper points. I uh, do you have <laughs> problems with expressing something? No. No. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> no, actually, nobody anymore. And again, one minute, which I cannot see from here, so you have to tell me when one minute is. One minute. One minute, okay. So the the last our last point will be this one, right on the other side. And uh, uh, laser because laser already finished here. Uh, the, uh, that was the mm, sixth chakra. So the second chakra, the seventh chakra, mode two, uh, mode two on both on the sixth and the seventh because it's a brain and heart. So we put the, our scanner on this spot. So could you do this cosmetic too? Yeah, 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 it is cosmetic, yeah. Uh -huh. So whatever, by the way, I don't know what the machine will choose. It, it's choosing scanner. It's just, oh, that's interesting. And the laser on the crown chakra. <coughs> Sorry, what did you tell that? Because it, it says AS on the bottom. Oh, so it'll shift it. That's yep. how you can tell. Okay. A little while ago it was AC. Is this so, a chakra balance? I fell asleep before, so I lost some uh -huh. of this. Is this a chakra balance? Oh, um, it, um, it, it does, but it's only, we're only working on upper chakras. Okay. Um, uh, typically, if we would do, we would uh, do every one, every chakra for three minutes from, from the, the root, face? starting on the root from, to the upper. Yes, yes, yes. All on the face? Uh, no, just uh, all, all seven chakras. Uh, that, would be chakra, that would be chakra balancing. Okay, with the laser on the whole body. Correct. Okay. The bottom one comes up. Okay, and you will tell me when the minute is. Right? Because I can see. It's, uh, what does the S1 stand for? Nine. One, minute. one minute. Okay, awesome. Okay, now um, this we consider six points on the face, but I always add one more because I just like it. So we're two minutes on this one. Okay, on the third eye. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Now, um, of course, this um, I'm showing you the big one, uh, just because you uh, you see that you can work on small points even with a big scanner. Mm -hmm. It's just how how you and of course it's much more convenient with a little 715. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, this one requires two or three minutes at least. It's past it now. Past what? No, just uh, sharing about the response. <coughs> yeah, I mm, okay. Yeah. At, at the same time, we, we get um, three minutes on the crown chakra. So pretty much I think when we finish two minutes on the third eye, uh, the laser will finish on the crown chakra. So that will be the end of uh, the session. Mm -mm. No. Third eye and the crown chakra. This is a sixth chakra. Third eye is a sixth chakra. And the uh, um, top of the head is a seventh chakra. So third eye is, the, is we consider sixth chakra. The hardest. This is not on the information on the Whatever you see on, uh, on, the, on the wall. Over there, it's uh, no. It's they don't have it, but it will. We will have it on the website. Mm -hmm. And if you can uh, press next slide, I don't remember if we still have. Uh, yeah, we're well, doing fine. Yeah, we already have that. Yeah, so that's it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we finish what we typically do. We let this little kitten now. Now every woman is a. It feels like a, that little little pussy cat, uh, just to wrap them in a blankie and let them, uh, let them relax. <laughs> just like this. And, uh, yeah, cocoon them in a, in a nice, soothing environment. What you try to do with this, you try to cover also the top of the head with a blankie. So when, and the feet, if you, uh, if you started your procedure, um, when you're starting your procedure, try to leave enough room of the blanket so they can cover the top of your head and you are really creating the environment uh, to let the coherency that has been established to set in. Mm -hmm. And for your client to meditate and uh, um, to cover the upper chakras. That's what's important is to cover the upper chakras. So we can leave Edna here or we can just uh, pretend that we did about 30, 40 more minutes in the blanket. Um, uh, well, actually, you can do that, but a suggestion, do plastic pins, no, no, don't, don't. No, actually, it, it, it is, we, we did consider that, and we consider Velcro, but that, um, the blanket does not tolerate any kind of metal, uh, foreign metal, it has not enough metal inside, so um, you may consider to do a little Velcro th uh, thing here, or just a plastic clip, like right over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Close. Well, clothes pin is, is metallic if it's plastic. Well, only. Mm -hmm. well, the older blankets used to be a little more tougher. They are tougher. They are tougher. So they still work as effectively mm -hmm. as these ones? Uh, the efficiency is the same. It's just they are less, uh, less convenient, less comfortable. Okay, now we have to ask Edna how she feels. Yeah. Okay, come on, guys. I'm in la la land. I'm very relaxed. Very relaxed. And. Um, I was. I lost the second half of the lecture because I was going in and out of Alpha State. Now, I was this is detail really like that's going to drive you crazy, and stress you out. You need more skin iron. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm going to catch. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not stressed. I'll catch the uh, the DVD or your website later, <clears throat> right? Okay, so we pretend that she stayed 30, 40 minutes in the blanket. Now let's look at the color. Mm -hmm. Let's look at yeah, the, the color is let's radiance. Are, radiance. And that's, that's the typical word that we hear after the session, radiant. Mm -hmm. So a person becomes radiant. And how do you feel? Okay. I, I just I feel great. I feel very relaxed. Very relaxed. You look and I don't know relaxed. what I look like, but I feel like I look great. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, no, I always usually radiant. do, but I know. Mm -hmm. I th I'd like to know about like the, uh, the mouth because mm -hmm. I've done a lot of different. Yep. Techniques. So just be aware. Something to be aware of. Okay. So we thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Was it interesting enough for you?